Hi everyone. It's Eileen here. Okay. Are you enjoying the Lavinia Stamps Halloween extravaganza? I am. Having lots of fun. I've got a couple of videos for you, video tutorials. Uh, this is one of them. And it uses, uh, as you can see, an abstract background along with Willow the Witch, an absolutely iconic Halloween image, isn't it? I thought I'd be different. Mm, not. And so consequently, I'm going to show you how I created this card. I've taken an A4 sheet of Lavinia Stamps Multifarious cardstock in white. I've folded it, creased it. I'm using, using it as a, a tent fold card. And I've cut it to 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres square. I've got a piece of copy paper to protect the inside of my card. And now I'm taking some Sweet Poppy stencil, stencil tape to mask up and to give me a panel just under two inches, I think it is. It's just under two inches wide over on the left. So pressing the tape down. Another strip now. Don't use masking tape for this. It will rip your card to bits. Just stretching it slightly and that seems to find the level if it gets a bit chewed up here don't worry about that because this strip is coming off in a minute another strip third one on the side stretching it again tightly slightly i meant to say and that and pulling this one off that gives me the panel when i complete with this one Next to it, again, pulling it slightly. And then this one comes off and that gives me a panel here on the left that is just under two inches. I'm using some makeup brushes, and some more copy paper here. I'm using some quite large makeup brushes and the distressed ink colours that I'm using are Victorian Velvet, Cedars Preserves, and then Spice Marmalade. Starting off with the Victorian Velvet and my spreader from Sweet Puppy Stencil, stainless steel spreader that I use for pasting. If you haven't got one of these, then use a credit card. The credit card will work exceedingly well. You'll have no problem with that. So just popping it down, just using it for angled lines, that's all. And I'm using, um, yeah, Victorian Velvet first. I'm using fairly old ink pads. Um, they are quite dry, mainly because I don't want the background of this abstract area to be too vivid. I don't want it to detract from the main Halloween images of the of the witch and the um, cauldron etc. So just taking out some of the ink and if your ink pads are very wet then make sure you take some of the ink off on copy paper. So here we go with the first line and then swinging round at an angle. I have no plan. It's just as it comes. So I put two lines of pink in and maybe another smaller one up here. Avoid this area here, of course. Then switching to um, purple. Cedars Preserves. Now this is a very rich colour. Don't want to overdo this one. Taking a lot of the colour off. And then very gently, just putting in a few bits down here. Maybe another one. And it's still too rich, so coming up, coming over here. And then going to Spice Marmalade. You won't get to see what this background really looks like until you take the tape off. So let's put a few bits in here. It's quite bright, this one. It's 
much brighter than my original card. So let's see how it pans out. So I'm not putting so much pressure on now, so the colour isn't so rich. And avoiding all the top, not going up any further. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. Bit more Victorian velvet, and I get the right brush. here okay um, another bit there I think make sure I get the right ink okay a few brown tones there let's see what I've got oh that's not bad that's not bad at all let's see what it looks like when the images are down if it looks okay, you're going to see it. And if it doesn't, you're not. <laughs> it's much brighter. Look. Look, that's quite pale in comparison to that. Oh, dear. That wasn't the plan, but let's see how it works out, shall we? Yes, why not? I'm chilled. Starting off with Willow the Witch. And Versafine Onyx Black. You can use Versafine um, Claire Nocturne, no problem. Plenty of ink. Make sure your ink pad is quite juicy. This was re-inked last night. And then down goes the witch. And she's coming out of the panel about a centimetre up from the bottom. And her hand is coming out and some of her dress is coming out. Right, I think that I've got her about right. Down, pressing firmly and up. Oh, she looks lovely. Do you know that? Yeah, that background's not bad, you know. Even though it's a lot brighter, it's not bad at all. Okay, next is the cauldron. And this, you've got to be careful of this one. The cauldron, which comes with Willow the Witch, is um, it's been drawn so that you can actually see the definition of the of the cauldron itself being round, and so you don't really want to press too heavily when you're stamping this. So lightly with the ink, and then down onto the cardstock, and I'm going just a slight over a bit from the bottom of her dress and then I'm going down press and up okay so I've missed off a bit of the rim I'm not bothered about that it's this area here I want the, the uh, white mark and that's what I've got um, so it isn't all black and um, and you can see the definition of the cauldron itself okay no, I'm happy with that. Right, what's next? Oh, the stars. The stars are next. Star cluster. Absolutely beautiful stamp. Now you've got a choice. You can have the stars because uh, in the cluster, there's one area where there's a lot of stars and another area where there's a gap and just a few stars. On the original card, I've used the um, cluster in such a way that the stars are well over and all of them are over on the right-hand side. I'm going to swap it this time and put them over on the left to leave me more room for the bats. They don't look bad on that, but I want to see what they look like when there are fewer of them. So that's the stars. Oh, just want to check. that there's no surplus ink around this bottom rim because that will come out on your stamp, on your work. Now, oh, that doesn't look bad. So, most of my stars are on this area now, so I'm going to pop them down and they're going to encircle Willow. And then pressing down firmly. Oh, that's nice. And there I've got the gap. 
and I think the bats will look better in that gap. And here are my bats. Again, Versafine Claire, sorry, Versafine um, Onyx Black. Gentle tapping. With the bats, you get a group of, I think there should be five, one, two, three, yeah. And then you get a single bat that is larger on its own with the same set. I think I'm right, they're with the same, all in the same set. So this, the bats will go here, look nicely in that gap there or just outside. So down and up, superb. And then the other bat, which is the larger of the group, gentle tapping. And I've got it all over the place. So again, dry cloth, wipe my block and along the edge of the stamp itself where I've got all of the ink there, mucky pop. Oh, I'm covered in it all over my fingers. You wait, that will go on the card in a minute. Ha. Oh, that's not so bad. Done. Right, fingers next. Wipe on the cloth. Good. And let's see. And I think that I'm going to put the bat on this side, coming out from the card as in the original. So one wing is in the panel and the other one isn't. Not stamped up totally as it should have done. I think I wiped some of the ink off. So I have a pencil here. I'll just fill in the black that I've missed. Still got the image clearly. Just wasn't so solid as it could have been. But I'm happy with that. Yeah, good. I knew I'd get ink. Oh, no, I haven't. It's a bit of fluff. Oh, saved. Okay, what's next? Now, I'm going to take a normal pencil because I didn't quite get the rim stamped of this cauldron. So I'm going to bring that round to make it look more. That's better. But I'm really brave. I'm using a pencil, so if I make a mistake, I can rub it out. When you get older, you get cunning, don't you? <laughs> well, that's the plan. Now, crafty, that's the word that I was looking for. You get more crafty in all ways. <laughs> um, oh, now, the final thing to do with this is to, I got to ground my images and then... Um, Add something to the cauldron to make it look as if something is coming out, a potion or two, whatever. First of all, I'm going to ground using polychromous pencils, moving it down a bit. And I've got grey and I'm coming along from Willow's dress with a pale grey and a darker grey. And then the pale grey comes down a bit more. I've got a block of colour at the bottom and that actually is very handy. That wasn't deliberately done, you know, I'm not that clever, but it is handy to have it there. And then I'm doing, um, I've got some indigo. This is indigo, dark indigo, a blue tone. And I'm just putting a bit of shading in there just to give the appearance of that she's standing on something and not just floating about. And the pale grey again, just to blend. And then taking that pale grey across to bring in the cauldron. So that isn't floating about either. And bringing that down a bit more. Just a suggestion of ground rather than filling in a block. So it can sort of fade out. And then the darker grey. Again. I'm rushing this a bit because of the video, but you can take your time. And then again the blue, the indigo blue there. 
so that sort of gives it something to I'm not keen on this bit here so I'm going to get my eraser and this is where it's handy having the pencils and blend that in a bit so that it's less prominent so you can see that it's ground it's grounded but it's not so in your face Just get my brush. That's better. Got a bit of stray ink there, don't want that. So yeah, just a whisper of grounding there. And then finally, um, I'll have a few enamel accents, I think, in black. But uh, don't shake these. They don't like it. They're dimensional faux enamel. And I'm just going to place some down to see the flow's okay. And then this is where I ruin the whole card. Fingers crossed. And then I'm just going to do a few dots. Ooh, that's, um, that's very liquid. That's not good. So I'll leave that one and I'll go over that with the... Uh, mm, it's not very opaque there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks if I've got seven, but one of them hasn't come out properly. So I'm going to use a black marker pen. Fill that in. There you go, you'll never notice. Right, I'm done. I really enjoyed showing you that. Oh, sorry, have I just knocked the camera? I hope not. So we have it's a bit brighter than the original one, but I don't mind that at all. Now, what do you reckon? Now, this bat here, this is where I'm going to ruin it now. She doesn't look as if it's solid. So, that's better. That's better. And I've got this covered in ink here from my fingers again. <laughs> oh dear. Everything has to be right though, you know. Everything has to be perfect. I'm really good, I think, I'm really good at making errors, mistakes and mucking stuff up. But I've learned a lot about how to put it right. I've had to, otherwise my bin would be overflowing every day with all my mistakes. See, I'm really practised. Okay, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the Lavinia Stamps extravaganza. Have fun. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.